our story today is Santa Claus is coming to town. Max kicked at a snowbank as he watched his big sister Jennifer play with her friends. Why couldn't she play with him? Finally, he shouted, Jennifer, I want to make a snowman now. Don't shout, Max, Jennifer called to him, and she went back to her snowball fight. Max didn't understand. Why shouldn't he shout outside where the snow could swallow his shout? Max plopped down on the step to pout. Just then a stray snowball landed smack on Max's nose. Mom, he cried, running into the house. A snowball hit me, Max told his mother. And although it didn't hurt really, Max started to cry. Max's mother kissed him. Better not cry, she said. Shall I tell you why? Now, Max was confused. He tried to think. You better not shout. You better not pout. Better not cry. I'm telling you why. Max remembered. Santa Claus! He shouted. Then, in a whisper, Santa Claus is coming to town. Max knew he probably hadn't made Santa's list of good boys and girls this year. Take the time his cousins left over, Max kicked him out of bed. Not exactly nice. And when Max had watered mother's flowers with juice, it had seemed funny until the flowers died. Uh, yeah, that wasn't so nice either. Jennifer, Max asked when she came in, do you think I've been naughty? Or nice this year. Well, <laughs> Jennifer said grinning, you did stick gum in my hair while I was sleeping and it sure didn't feel nice when mom had to cut it out with scissors. <sighs> Max had to face it. Santa Claus might be coming to town but he probably wouldn't stop at Max's stocking Christmas Eve. Max and Jennifer put tinsel on the tree. Tonight's the night Santa Claus is coming to town, Jennifer said. Aren't you excited, Max? But Max knew he had been more naughty than nice this year, and Santa wouldn't be leaving anything for him. Max imagined Santa and his reindeer flying from house to house. It would be hard work carrying that pouch down so many chimneys. Santa must get awfully tired. Mom, Max called. Can I have some milk and cookies, please? It's awfully late, Mother answered. They're not for me, said Max. Max set out a big glass of cold milk and four Christmas cookies he had decorated himself. Max woke up first on Christmas morning. He crept downstairs in the darkness, afraid to look at his stocking. <clears throat> he just knew it would be empty. Light from the treetop angel fell on the mantle, and there, to his surprise, Max saw his own Christmas stocking bulging with gifts from Santa. Right there. Sticking out at the top was a note. Dear Max, thank you for the tree. What you did was very nice. Merry Christmas. Love, Santa. I was nice, Max shouted, and he ran through the house, waking up his family singing. He made up his list and he checked it all twice. Santa decided that Max could be nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Merry Christmas.